Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets tutorial in Practical Sheets. Today we continue with our series in creating automatic number sequences in Google Sheets. We've already done a very simple number sequence with the function sequence and the function count a. And in the last video, we did a bit more complex one where I could add a letter code before my number. And I also could add some numeric sequence in this case, I did, for example, some zeros before my one. And then if I had 10, there will be only three zeros before my 10. And if I go to a hundred, I will have only two zeros before my hundred. And I changed, I used array formula and I did a bit more complex code. Okay. So what I want to do today is to take it a step further. I'm going to delete this one sequence by by my sequence the, the sequence is a very simple one that may work for very simple cases but in, we're getting to more complex areas so now it will change so i'm just going to delete this so i'm going to clean this a bit i'm going to remove this reference and these zero numbers and all that so i'm going to delete this one what i'm going to do is to add a customer category let's say here we have some VIP customers, some frequent ones, some new ones, and abandoned, let's say. And let's have here some other ones. Let's just leave it there. Okay, so we have these customers, each one with a category. Now, what I want to do is to give an automatic number sequence, but that changes depending on the category. So for example, in my VIP, this will be number one, this will be number two, this will be number three. In my frequent, this will be number one, this will be number two. In new, I will have only one, two, and three, and so on. So how can we do this? This is this may prove a much more challenging formula. So let's start how we did it last time with the row function. So if I Press here row for my column A2 and press enter. And if I autofill or if I drag my formula down, it gives us the number of my row. If I do A2 up to A and I press Ctrl Shift Enter and again enter, I have a number sequence. I need to wrap it in an if statement so that I don't have my blanks. So I will say if a2 up to a equals to, to blank, leave it blank. If not, put my row. So I have my sequence perfect. Here, actually, this starts here in two. So I would prefer to start in one. So I will say row minus one. Okay. So for now, this works good. Now, how do I do? the category thing. Here, my row won't work, my sequence won't work. I have to get a bit more creative. The first thing I'm going to do is to make a list of my categories with a number before it or after it. This will be by VIP1, VIP6, VIP7, uh, so that I have a way to uh, differentiate them. Okay, so actually I'm going to concatenate this column with this column. So I'm going to do it here in another column. This will be easy. I'm just going to, how do I concat with the ampersand? So I will do this ampersand, this, and, but I wanted to do it with a, the array formula. So I'm going to leave it open to B and open up to C, Control Shift Enter and press Enter again. So this works well, but this is a formula. So I could add this formula here. So I'm going to copy this formula and put this formula instead of my C to C. Okay, still works. So this is step number one. This is step number two. For now, we're going to do this case, this specific case. What I can do is to make a list of all my VIPs. This, in this case, it's only these three. How do I do it? I could do it with a filter function. I could do it with a query function. Let's do it with a query function. So 
here I'm going to say query of this column so my condition will be to filter where my only the only column I have that is D here I'm going to to use some of the text methods in query contains for now I'm going to say VAB let's close and let's close my parentheses and so here I have my VIP or actually instead of contains I could say starts with to be more precise this is a clause of the query function okay so this works great but I don't want it to be hard-coded the VIP so this could be this B2 so I could say instead of VIP I could close my quotation marks put double ampersand and in the middle of my ampersand I will choose this B2 enter it still works now I'll try to replace this is where it starts to get tricky I'll try to replace this D up to D with this with the formula I had here this all this array form let's see if it continues to work actually it will break why because here I say D and when I put a formula in my as the first argument of my query function, this D won't work. I have to change this D with for call one, written exactly as it is with the first one in caps, O and L in lowercase, and this one, the, the number one. Okay, so it still works. So if I delete this, nothing will happen. Okay, so now I have this auxiliary formula this auxiliary table where I have all my VIPs. Why do I do this? Because if there is a way to search for the position of this one, then I would know that this will be number one, that VIP one will be number one, VIP six will be number two, and VIP seven will be number three. So maybe there is a way to knowing that this is number one, number two, number three. So let's try it a couple of ways. One way will be with our uh, trusted sequence function. So here I could add a sequence function for my column E, where I will count the elements with count A of my column E. And here I will know one, two, three, and then maybe with a VLOOKUP or something, I could look up what will be the number, okay? Now, as I've done, in all the steps, this was, remember, this was step one, step two, step three, step four, is to try to remove this EE because I don't want this. I, I want to, to be able at, at the end to remove all this and that it still works. So I would need to add all this thing, this monster of a formula inside my sequence. Let's see if it works. Let's count A. All of these crazy things. Apparently it works. So I need this table in only one table. So how do I do it? Let's do it here. I would just do a, a, an array where my, my first column will be all this monster, the query function, and the second array will be the same query function but inside a count A and inside a sequence. Okay? So let's do it here apart. So I'm going to choose all of these. First, I'm going to do it with the columns. So I'm going to open a bracket, put this column, test, then a, then I would put a comma and this column and close my bracket. Okay, it, it has one offset row, but it works. So now I'm going to replace the EE this column E with this one will give me an error for the moment. But just bear with me. I will change this E to all of this. Right there. And then I will change the second column to this other thing. So here, instead of F, colon F, I would add my sequence count A of the same query function. Enter. 
and now in only one cell I have my tape why did I do this because now I want to look to do a VLOOKUP in this table let's add a buffer column same here so I want to look this VIP one that I have here I want to do a VLOOKUP in this table so let's do it here first the thing is that I can do a VLOOKUP of this here and it will give me one and here it will give me two and here it will bring me three so it will work perfectly for the VIPs but not for the other ones because the idea is that this is dynamic that for this one the table is this one but for this one the table will change will be frequent two frequency up five and no more and for new it will be new three new eight and new eleven so it's going to change it will be dynamic this is why I did it with all this crazy thing okay so my next step will be to do a VLOOKUP of each of these elements in each of these tables remember that every time I go to a new row I'm going to have a different table here may, I may have some problems with the fixed references so I may have to change this later so for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a VLOOKUP of this D2 cell in this table in the second column and the last argument will be zero I'm going to fix this range enter and here everything will be missed errors but I have here my two and I have here my three this is what I wanted that for the VIP section or area or category I have my consecutive numbers okay now I need to make this that it works for all of the other categories so how may I do this so I may replace this the range where I'm looking I may replace it for this formula so I'm going to take all of this formula it is this table and place it here enter it still works for the one and if I bring it down it only works for the one again this is a matter of the references so I think I need to to fix some of the columns so here I will fix this one also this one all these rows I just fix them and the only one I will leave open would be this D2 and this B2 and I forgot this one so let's drag it down so apparently it works because here you have VIP it would be number one and here it will be number two and number three and frequent it will be here number one here will be number two and let's drag it a bit down more I don't have more frequent and new this will be number one this will be number two this will be number three apparently it works what may not work is if I do this with an array formula so this I may leave it for another video if I delete this and put this d2 with a column d and the b2 with a column d b sorry and this other b2 with a column b and then I do ctrl shift enter with another array formula and press enter it doesn't work okay so I have some mistakes I have been cracking my head trying to resolve this but this doesn't work so the bad news is that I have to drag the formula down but the good news it it works so maybe I I need another if error that if this VLOOKUP is an error then just leave it blank also and that's it so I could drag this all the way down just know that this is a, a heavy formula so you can see that it takes some time to process if you have 10,000 rows you may have some processing issues if you keep this formula just keep that in mind actually there's one step missing the only thing I need to replace is this D2 for whatever I have here I'm going to change this and replace this VLOOKUP here 
this D2 for the SRA formula. And it should continue to work. It does. So I could, in theory, erase all of these columns and it should still work. I just need to drag this down again because I changed this array formula here, but I didn't drag it down. So as you can see, it takes some time, but it works well. Again, let's try to decode our formula one last time before I go. What I did, and let's go here to our backup so we can see it more clearly. What I did was to create a new column with my customer category and a consecutive number with my row formula so that I could identify each uh, incidence of each category. Then I organized uh, these categories. Then I was able with a query function to filter depending on each of these rows. So here I'm going to filter all the VIPs. Here I'm going to filter all the frequent ones. Here I'm going to filter all the new ones. Here all the abandoned. After that, I concatenated this with a sequence formula so that I know the position of each of my VIPs. So VIP one is number one, VIP six is number two, VIP six, seven is number three. Finally, I do a VLOOKUP of this, each of these. I will do a VLOOKUP in this table I created with all of my formulas and get this number. This is the number I want. The number, uh, the position of VIP one in the VIP table. The position of VIP6 in the VIP table. In the case of frequent 2, it will be the position of frequent 2 in the frequent 2 table, that it will be this table and it will be number 1. And finally, I just joined all together and it gets my code. Again, it's, it may be a, mess, a bit messed up formula. Uh, if you want, you can get this template file in the, in the Patreon page so you can play a bit with the formula. I know that there are smarter guys than me out there in the Sheets community. So I imagine some of you may, may find a way of do this with an array formula so that I don't have to drag the formula down. I think this is the only step missing. I tried a lot of things and wasn't able to. I think we're almost there to do it with an array, but that's it. Again, just the caveat that this takes a lot of processing power. So uh, just be careful with this. <laughs> For me, it's more of a challenge and uh, a good uh, brain forcing se session to come up with this crazy formula. Again, I hope some of you find this helpful. And if so, you can support me in various number of ways. You can go to the Patreon page and subscribe there and get all these codes and all these uh, templates so you can download them or more, much more easily you can just subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit the notification button so that every week you have in your YouTube in tray a new Google Sheets and Google Apps video. Thank you so much and see you next time.